Welcome to the 2024 Hearthstone Beginner's Guide. Tips and tricks to get you started playing Hearthstone. Hearthstone is a fantastic card game, but jumping in for the first time can be overwhelming. Here are some key tips and tricks to help you begin dominating the tavern. Step one, learning the basics. The mana system. Mana crystals power your actions. Each turn, you gain one more mana crystal up to a maximum of 10. Minions and spells cost mana to play, so planning your mana usage is crucial. There are even some cards that increase your mana total each game. Minions in combat. Minions are creatures you summon to fight for you. They have attack and health points, and when they attack, they deal damage equal to their attack to a target, which could be the enemy hero, an enemy minion, or yourself. The target also does damage back, remember potentially destroying your minion. On the card, the attack is on the left and the health is on the right. Spells. Spells provide a variety of effects from dealing damage to healing your hero or buffing your minions. Use them strategically to gain an edge. Think strategically here. When is your spell the best time to be played? Step two, building your collection. First off, focus on standard. Standard is the most popular game format, featuring the most recent card sets. This allows you to compete with most players and utilize the latest strategies. Wild, featuring all cards, is for later when your collection grows. It could take you several months before you have enough gold to craft wild cards, so standard should be your main focus. Smart Dust Crafting. Arcane Dust lets you craft specific cards. Don't disenchant cards unless absolutely necessary. These will destroy those cards. Prioritize dusting golden cards, duplicates with a golden border, and wait to disenchant regular cards until you're sure you will not need them or until a nerf makes it more profitable for you to dust those cards. Here's an example of me dusting some cards that I do not think I have ever used before. Step 3. Playing the game. Don't just attack. While lowering your opponent's health is the goal, prioritize smart trades. A good trade eliminates an enemy minion while keeping yours alive. Don't be Leroy Jenkins. Think ahead. Consider your opponent's class and potential plays. Try to anticipate their moves and plan your responses accordingly. Your turn three may be perfect, but may set your opponent up for a turn five win condition. If you play on PC, consider deck tracking software such as Hearthstone Deck Tracker or Firestone. These are invaluable tools for players of any level. Links in the description below. The Mulligan. At the start of the game, you can choose to mulligan cards. Aim for cards that fit your deck's early game strategy and mana curve. Essentially, if you're not going to play that card before turn five, don't keep anything in your hand that's above five mana. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't get discouraged by losses. Experiment with different decks. Analyze your gameplay and have fun climbing the ladder. You will lose games, a lot of them. Take the time to evaluate your past games to see what you did right and what you need to do right next time. HS Replay is perfect for this. I will leave a link in the description below. Step four, understanding RNG. Have you heard of RNG? Or random number generation? This is a huge part of Hearthstone and a topic of much debate. It can be both a source of frustration and absolutely exciting, incredible moments. But it's also a lot of frustrating moments. Here are several ways that RNG is super prevalent in Hearthstone. Number one, there's card draw. The order you draw your cards can significantly impact the game's flow and is completely random. There are some cards that can adjust the order of your cards, but in 2024, most of those cards are in the wild format. Next up, Discover. This mechanic lets you choose from a random selection of cards, adding an element of surprise or frustration, usually frustration. This discover mechanic will allow you to pick one of three cards 
randomly. While we're talking about randomly, let's go ahead and talk about random generation. Many cards create random effects, like spells or minions with unpredictable outcomes. The card text RNG. Some cards have effects that rely on randomness, like Ragnaros dealing random damage or the Scourge. Fill your board with random undead. RNG can create dramatic moments and unexpected victories. Pulling the perfect answer from Discover or a Lucky Ragnaros Blast can feel amazing. But on the flip side, losing to random effects outside your control can be very, very frustrating. It can feel like your skill is less important than luck. And listen, this will happen to you. You're right on the cusp of winning the game and then something happens with RNG and you are no longer winning that game. Some argue that a controlled amount of RNG keeps the game interesting. It forces players to adapt and think on their feet, not just rely on rote memorization. Some hate it and complain each and every day. On Reddit, social media, you'll see these complaints each and every day. The developers have acknowledged the debate. They aim to strike a balance between exciting moments and rewarding skilled play. They've also tried to reduce the most frustrating RNG effects over time. This is what balance patches are for. Ultimately, random number generation is part of Hearthstone's identity. Some players love it and some players hate it. Understanding how it works and how to manage it will help you improve your game. Step five, the new player experience. The new player experience at Hearthstone in 2024 has seen some huge improvements compared to the past. Here's a breakdown of what you could expect. Apprentice ranks. The first few ranks in ranked mode are reserved for new players, allowing them to learn the ropes and avoid facing veterans with massive card collections. Hearthstone also features more interactive tutorials than ever, and that walks you through the core mechanics like minion combat, spell usage, and deck building. The game also offers several pre-built decks for new players, allowing them to jump into the action without needing to craft cards. These decks are designed to be competitive at lower ranks, and they are. Step 6. Things to keep in mind. Budget-friendly guides. Many online resources offer budget deck guides specifically designed for new players. These guides focus on strong decks that can be built with minimal crafting or arcane dust expenditure, like mine. Every Monday, I have a new budget decks video. It's a couple of decks that are below 5,000 dust, bronze through legend ranks, help you climb the ladder. Take a look, I'll leave a couple of the newest ones and the playlist in the description below. Daily and Weekly Quests These quests offer achievable goals for a new player or an old player, any players, and it rewards them with gold and packs eventually upon completion. This helps build your collection gradually. If possible, work on daily quests and weekly quests as much as possible. The more you do, the more you'll be able to buy new cards. The Learning Curve while improvements have been made, Hearthstone still has a strategic depth that takes time to master. Don't get discouraged by initial losses. You will lose a lot of games. Overall, the new player experience in Hearthstone is much more welcoming in 2024. With generous rewards, improved tutorials, a focus on budget decks, new players have a smoother path to become competitive and have fun in the tab. Thank you for watching. Please check out my channel as I offer many valuable videos for new and returning players alike. Hope to see you in the tavern.